She's dead! No! Everyone's crazy! Everyone's crazy! No! It's gonna be the end! We're not gonna make it, boys! Hi, guys. I'm Cinnamon, Cinnamon Toast, 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 Toast Ken. Ken. And today we're playing 60 Seconds, the game that I can't freaking beat. All my family keeps dying. It sucks! But I feel like today's the day. Today's the day of 60 Seconds that we're going to 60 Second our way to god dang victory. And we're going to go to the apocalypse. And we're going to... I keep wanting to play Little Boy, but we're going to play Fat Man. Begin by adventure. Let's do it. Uh, people keep telling me to feed your family like every five days or something, but then they get tired. They don't want to do anything. Oh, I gotta like look around and see where everybody is. I forgot, I forgot how to play, actually. All right. Grab. Grab it, you fool. Grab it. Oh, wait. Oh, it took two slots. Ugh, that was bad. Come here, daughter of mine. Get in there. God dang, you take up too many slots. Get in there. Wife. Uh, something, something. No room, no room. God, are you serious? Uh, the map. That sucks. Get the shelter. Ugh. Oh wait, I forgot my son. I gotta go back. <laughs> Where is he? There he is. What are you doing in the kitchen? You fool. I need water. There's so much soup, but I need water. Ugh. Where's the scout handbook at? Oh, the radio, we need that. Uh, really? Really? Ah, uh, god dang, I'm not gonna make it. No room! Fuck! <sighs> Whatever, it was a terrible, terrible start. Jesus! I think I got like two bottles of water. I got my family, I guess. <sighs> we'll see what happens. Let's see how far we can make it. Day one. We got. Oh, we got a little bit of water. We got a little bit of everything, I guess. We didn't get a scout handbook. We got the radio though. We made it, we found a deck of cards in here. Sweet, plenty of water. Screw you guys. Yeah, rest in freaking peace. Rest in pepperonis. Okay, you guys aren't getting anything for like, and you're not going out in the wilderness either. Uh, it's that ticking, trickling sound. Why's the wall so wet? We about to get flooded? We don't... What? Save the supplies already? I'm gonna lose. God dang it. I have to. This sucks! I just got here. We're already flooding. No! Did we check this? Dang it. Oh, my map and my cards are gone. Ugh. Floors not last long without water. You don't, you're not getting any water, okay? Suck it up. Jesus, what a terrible, terrible start. You find something to drink fast. You're in terrible shape. Nope. You're not getting anything. You're not getting Jack. We're going to test the theories of people saying that you can last five days without anything. All right. Hard not to worry. Consider current situation. Some days struggle. Mary Jane keeps fainting. We should give her some water. It's day five. I guess we'll give them something to drink, you know. Okay, guys. You can have a little bit of water. There you go. On our way back from the last exp expedition, we do haven't been exp expediting anywhere. It's... Dangerous outside. We know some drawings, half ruined wall nearby. Very crude middle town, place marked with X. Maybe someone's secret stash of soup. Shall we go and check? All right, go out there and check, girl. Don't come back sick. I ain't having it. Yeah, we're lucky someone spotted soup on the map. Nothing made us happy. The site Mary Jane returning the shelter to the server. Mary Jane's diet keeps a little food. Might not look like it, but he's strong. Young boy's doing just fine. Dolores doing fine. Everyone's fine. Day seven, we're all sick. Great. I guess it's because I didn't give him food. I don't know. Oh my god. This is the worst run alive. So bad. Would you expect nuclear explosion to be enough to quench uh, petty arguments? Your future's looking grim. Oh, I started fighting like crazy. They're really thirsty. You know. Uh, I mean, I don't care. Just, 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 just take the goddamn water for. Just, just take it because we're dead. Hear that? No, because no one's talking. Turn the radio on. It'll probably break. No, in our goddamn luck. Oh my god. Ah, how fortunate we took the radio with us. Probably listen to music. Mary Jane seems fine. Making sure uh, nothing going on, Ted. Anyway, more stabbing. Day nine. We'll be able to enjoy the sunshine again. Still safe, always better. Good news, there's nothing new with Timmy. Uh, oh, Dolores' health improved. And he hasn't recovered from his illness yet. Day 10. Our hideout is being approached by a man we didn't know. He claimed to be an accountant, but now he's... Survives as a trader, a gambler. He offered a card game. Two water bottles. We don't have cards, bruh. If you're such a gambler, you should have brought your own cards. I had the water. 
Gambling is a terrible habit. What kind of example is set for the kids? We need supplies. We're not getting them like that. We should have robbed someone. <laughs> we sent the man away. Good riddance. Jay is quite hungry. He doesn't mean much. Uh, some water left. All right. Ted is really thirsty. Played I spot. It's pretty fun for the first three minutes. After that, everyone got bored with the letter W. I spy a wall, I guess. Uh, Teddy's in terrible shape. We need to give him water. Uh, he needs a drink. All right. Everybody needs something to drink. I think it's a day early, but whatever. Who cares? Day 12, we decided to peek outside. No, we didn't because there's a growl. We don't have anything to look outside with. He's probably going to attack someone. We felt it's too risky to face whatever horror way the shadows. We did what the same person was and shut the door. Creature's gone the next morning. I don't know what the order is anymore. All right, day 13, and I just gave him water the day before. We didn't expect a phone call so soon. Timmy, go check the phone. Go check it out, Timmy. Now he's back already. Uh, answer the phone. Click gasp relief. Uh, and then the call is cut short. It's always the same. We're afraid for Timmy. But he's safe with it. He's safe. And we're hungry still, I guess. I just gave you guys food. Day 15. The Geiger counter is gone now, like the radiation sound, so we can go out and explore a little bit. Jay is thirsty. Timmy should eat. Water is all Dolores wants. Ted wishes for a few drops of water. No, you're not getting any. Uh, you're going outside to... Yes. Oh, wait, I gotta do that next. Supplies are scarce. Morale's low. You can almost smell the deprivation in the shelter. I'm pretty sure there's a small group of survivors nearby, mostly old folks. Yeah, let's go take the old folks' supplies. Yeah! Uh, we had to do it. We got four water. Mary Jane keeps fainting. She needs some water. All right. Ted looks like he got a foot in the grave. Here. Have some water, you guys. Not you, though. You don't get any because you're going on an expedition with the axe. Good luck! You better bring that axe back. Mary Jane went outside. Timmy Dot needs some food. Uh, you're not getting any. So, we know very little about what's going outside. Maybe get it and maybe... No, nope, we're not touching the radio. Leave the goddamn radio alone. Hunger drove Timmy insane. <laughs> see what, dang it, Timmy! Oh, man. Timmy's gone. Well, I guess we'll enjoy some delicious soup in his absence. So, uh, sorry, down here is no walk in the park. It won't get any easier. Hopefully, it's a blowover soon. We'll be back to what we used to be or else. We might face days we've never dreamed of. Damn it, Timmy. We're trying our best to remain calm in the situation. We're far from normal. We might have get used to it. We hope the help comes soon. There has to be some water. Ted wishes for a few drops. We actually got enough water now. I thought I was just kind of slang it a little bit. We're done fighting, but for how long? We can't just sit around. Dolores is sick. So don't worry about him. He's okay. Ah, uh, you guys are gonna die. Can't keep seeing our backsides. Tiny little bunker to start thinking about getting as far. Uh, this. Who thought the uh, Reds would ruin such a lovely neighborhood? We should get on our own. Escaping part. Uh, of course, here might some. Of the, let's keep our eyes and ears open. Let's use the radio. Don't break the radio. Day twenty seems like it's okay. The fuck? Ah, we're dead. No, the sickness got us. Sheet. We made contact! The military's out there! They're coming for us! All we need to do is now is wait patiently. The soldier with the boring voice is very specific about this. He'll help us on the way. We just need to wait for their further instructions. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the surface. Turned out that calling an ambulance is not an option anymore. When we reached the hospital, it's in ruins. Parts of it turned out to be still standing. More or less, we decided to go through the rubble and make the best of it. The canteen editor, uh, we got a soup and some water. Uh, oh, we, we also, man, we got so much from that trip. She did so good, but Dolores' sickness progressed quickly. Coughing, fever, chest pain, she didn't recover. Ted's been sick for too long. He was too weak to keep on going. He passed away in his sleep. All places he could have perished. This is probably the best, or maybe not. We held on for 21 days. Uh, and then she's just there by herself. No parents. You know she didn't survive. Uh, perished! Ah! I, need to, I, I don't know how to play. I just suck. <laughs> Let's god dang, god dang try to freaking again. Maybe this time we'll do a little better. Get my pocket, girl. Timmy, radio. Ooh, there's a scout handbook too. Get that to the shelter. Hey, girl. You got a lot of soup in here. Of course she's in the kitchen. She's so sexist. Uh, I think we can get a couple more things before I die. Maybe not, because I just ran to the wall. Oh, briefcase has three? Man, the briefcase sucks. Damn! <laughs> you can actually make it back to, uh, and you'll have whatever you have in your pockets. You don't have to throw it in there. So that, that does help. But I think we did, I think we did okay. Maybe. I don't know how much water we got. Day one. Eh, we did, uh, fairly decent, you know? 
Maybe. I think we did okay. We got a good bit of water, got some bullets, nothing for the bullets. I got the briefcase, but I didn't really need it. It just took a bunch of space. Boy Scouts. Yeah. All right, we got our deck of cards. Sweet. Oh! Unpack our luggage, and there's a... that. Oh, okay, I, I know I didn't pick that up. That was inside of our holiday luggage. Sweet, sweet, sweet. No supplies on day one for anybody. Really missed the life we had. The space, the sky, the food, more food. Wish you go back to that. We take it all, all for granted. Day two. World's such a crappy place. We're not going outside. What's that sound? A galloping horse? We rush the door. We greeted by two men dressed. They, oh, these guys are always nice, but I don't have a map. So sorry, guys. It's the guys with the coconuts. They always give us stuff. Like, well, they always give me stuff, but this time I don't have anything. So sorry. Sorry, guys. Couldn't contain our laughter, <laughs> our guests took offense. They ran off shouting that our ancestors were rodents and smelled of forest fruits. How rude. Uh, they like to drink a few drops of water. Uh, it's day three, we'll go one more day. The radio chatter, uh, nope, sorry, it's only like day four, I'm not going outside. It's too dangerous to go out there without any protection, we decide to stay indoors and listen to the radio. The static is so relaxing. It's too dangerous to go out there without any protection. We decide to stay indoors and listen to the radio. The static is so relaxing. Mary Jane keeps fainting. It's time to give some, some people some water. Like one foot in the grave. They really need something to drink. All right, here's some water, everybody. Day four. So can we go longer without food? I don't actually know. Uh, not our best time, place to make plans for the future. But we can't help but think about what we make our terrible situation. The house still standing or will they have to move the forsaken hole like Toronto? Ugh. Not Toronto. Maybe moving won't be too bad. We can probably make new friends, meet new people, provide anyone's still alive, that is. It's always better when things are calm. Lucky nothing's happened. Mary Jane today. Uh, everybody's good. So we can go pretty far without food. I guess that makes sense. You can go f longer without food than water. All right. So everybody's okay. Nobody's hungry yet. But we need, we're going to need more water for sure. Last thing we expected to hear Fallout character was a trumpet. Played someone who's clearly not a trumpet player and who had probably never heard a trumpet player in his entire life. He came with a friend, knocking on the door. He demanded that we let the merry men enter so they could take from the rich and give to the poor. Should we let them? Fuck nah. They're gonna take from us. Get out of here. We're rich. Day six. Hey, someone drew a little yellow man on the wall over here. We didn't answer. Those peculiar calls kept the door locked till the noises outside faded away. We're not exactly sure what we want those people to come back. They sounded harmless enough, but the harmless people can uh, but can harmless people be trusted in these troubled times? They might be worse than those who ha don't har seem harmless at all. She's fine, doesn't eat anything. He's doing just fine. Uh, they would love something to eat. Dolores would like something to eat. Of course she would like something to eat. Shut up, Dolores. You're not getting anything to eat. We're going like day 10 without food. Just kidding. It's day 8. 7. What's today? Saturday. It's hard to not worry about our, our situation. Some days struggling with a real sheltered life. Can't lose hope. Everybody could use a little, uh, a little food, it looks like. We'll go ahead and... Uh, actually, we'll go one more day. How about that? And we'll give them food and water. Every four days. Not doing great. Give them a talk and cheer him up. Give him a good talking to, Dad. Let him know we love him. Day eight. Everyone looks okay still. Uh, nobody's... They're hungry. Dehydration. Okay. Uh, even a word or two may be good enough to brighten someone's mood. Timmy seems to be better now. Quite hungry. All right. It's, uh, stomach rumbling. Needs a drink right now. Everybody, everybody get some stuff. Everybody get some food. Think about the lake we've been going to for the past few years. It'd be good to find ourselves, uh, be good to find ourselves there, far away from all this madness. Swim a little, maybe take a boat ride, even if the whole place turned into Adamville. Boo. Day nine. How's everybody doing? She's still hungry. He's hungry. He's hungry. So I think the food's gonna have to come like sooner now because I waited so long. Quite hungry. Their stomach's rumbling. Uh, time to ration out. You're not getting anything today, guys. We know very little about what's going on. We're not touching the radio. It's only day nine. Because we'll freaking break it. I know we will. We always do. Oh, she's fine now. They were hungry still, but now they're okay. Well, that's weird. She doesn't eat anything. Uh, they're all good. Sweet. Maybe they're just like, I don't know, going crazy slowly. We're not going outside. Today we met a bunch of people who dressed to look like Halloween doctor outfits. They claimed to be filled, moving place to place, attempting to help those who are hurt and had a wasteland. The problem, some of their supplies got eaten and they want my water. They're not getting my god dang water. I don't have enough. Go away. Struggle continues. What's this scam? They're not even real doctors. We're not giving these crooks anything. Can we spare some water? Mary Jane's been asking about it all day. We got one more, one more day before they get any water. They expect a phone call so soon. Go get it, Timmy. You can probably get hurt on your way, I wouldn't doubt it. Day 12. Oh, he's okay. Good. 
We're actually doing well. We're just going to need to get some water. Uh, it's the same phone call we always get. Uh, wait, what? He's a little food. Fainting. Okay, there it goes. Fixate. They don't need some water? Everybody has some water. Day 12. Nobody's going outside. Trash. Can of ours getting pretty disgusting. Good news, we don't have much of an appetite. Uh, for some reason, we like to tidy things up. These giant cockroaches are a pretty good motivator. Smack them with the Boy Scout book. Smack them cockroaches. Day 13. Dodge the bullet this time. If the bullet was huge, Harry had eight legs and glowing head. Hopefully, we don't have to deal with them again. Mary Jane's diet keeps a little food. Ted's hungry. The stomach is rumbling. Uh, wait, what, when did I give you guys food last? Uh, four, eight. I think I'm actually overdue for food. I forget. Uh, I forget. How was I rationing these out? Go back and look. Uh, could use a little food. Is very hungry. Loves something to eat. Something's rumbling. I guess I'll just give you guys some food. I don't remember. I'm, I'm, my count's off. I don't think that's right, though. Only day 13. We'll go one more day. One more, one, uno mas. Considering the space is very friendly. Yeah, we're arguing with each other. Great. The hate has been bred. Day 14. All right. Day 14. Everyone's still kicking. Your little food is very hungry. I wouldn't pay attention to the the old gagger. Was it still going off? I think we'll get someone ready to go. I think after day like 12, it's okay to go out, right? Day 15. He's a little food. Thirsty. Should drink. Not eating for a while. Hungry. Needs water to survive. You're not getting anything. Go out there, girl. Make me proud. Uh, and bring... Jesus, what are you going to bring with you? Bring... I don't know. Take the bullets with you, I guess. Enjoy some bullets. Maybe you'll find something to use them in. All right, day 16. How we doing? How we doing, guys? Terrible shape. We need to give them water. Yeah, they need water. Water, water. Oh, God. Running low on the agua. Backsides. Tiny little bunker. Sorry, thinking about getting as far away. House radioactive wasteland. Uh, we can do that for now. Escaping part of... Ooh, okay, let's go ahead and listen to the radio. It's day 16. Maybe it'll be okay. I knew it, the government's not falling. They're coming to save us. They didn't give us exact dates to the radio transmissions. Sure, they won't be waiting until they said they'll be in touch. Couple of days. Tell us to wait further instructions. Everyone is looking okay. We are doing pretty well on our management. We just gotta, we just gotta do it. Breathe. The last couple of hours, I suspect something's wrong with the ventilation. Uh, use the Boy Scout. Use the Boy Scout book. Hopefully, we don't get attacked by a bunch of bugs. Oh, god dang, he's sick. It's okay, I got medical stuff. Handbook. We use the handbook to reach the vent. We figured the full pointer on how to fix things. Chapter Nuclear Shelter Air Filtration System before we can check. We were invaded by a group of angry mutant insects. Great. Ted's been infected with something. There you go, Ted. Get better. Could have sworn there was a huge puddle of water there earlier. There's another one. Oh, damn it. We're getting flooded. Great. We're flooded. Save the radio. Fuck. Always. God dang it. Okay. The radio was rescued and we lost our cards. And I've, I haven't been keeping up with my food. When's the last time I fed him? 15th, I think? Did I feed him on the 15th? I think I can, uh, I think I have to wait. Maybe I can wait to the 20th. Day 20. She's still not back. She's dead. <laughs> Thought Solid Game would be a good idea. Very hungry. Need to give him some water. Day 21. She's still not back. Maybe moving away wouldn't be too bad. Okay, he's making the best. Everyone's kind of hungry. Uh, we can't peek outside. We don't have anything. Oh, wait. Oh, she's back. Oh, man. She looks rough, too. What'd you br oh, she brought water. Thank. No, wait. Did she? Yes, yeah, she did. Sweet. Uh, where'd she go? Do -do -do -do. Man, it's happier than the site. You're going to walk in the world. The fire. The fire department. We're thrilled to find the place of running firefighters. Redecorated the place. Uh, redid their outfits. Most walls painted black and red. And the fireman's helmets now have a grim skull symbol on them. We never thought our local firefighters had such artistic souls. So alternative. Near the garage, we found a few firefighters shooting off some giant mutated cockroaches with the fire hose. We joined in on the fun and managed to fill some bottles of water in the process. She contracted illness. She's really tired, but she's hungry. Despite the dire circumstances, all the trouble. All right, so she is hungry. But we have some water. Thank Jesus. Found an anomalous note and shelter. Whoever wrote this request and representing to meet tonight to set location unarmed. All right, Timmy, go out there. Go out there and meet him unarmed. Day 23, baby. Oh, he met him and he's okay. What happened? Uh, we met. The meeting was organized by twin siblings, a brother and sister who took it upon themselves to scout the remains of the city to look for trustworthy and decent people. They seemed honest about their intentions and were more than happy to meet them again. They said they know where to find us and they're going to contact us if they need some help. We were afraid with Timmy, but he came back. 
Uh, can use a little food. Timmy's on his best behavior for how long? They need some water soon. I think on the 24th, I'll give him some water. Timmy can do it. There's only things you can do with Tiny Bunker. Send your kids out of the wastelands. That's what this game's all about. Play the solid game. Quite hungry. Mary Jane's the right idea. Despite the dire circumstances, love something to eat. Uh, I think we can make one more day with that. I don't know. I've kind of uh, lost count of where I was at. All right, you're going out, and I don't know. You're not taking anything with you. Good luck, Timmy. You're going out unarmed. La, 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 la. Oh, she's fatigued. I did wait too long, I guess. All right, quite hungry. She keeps fainting. Wasteland, not eating. Fatigued. Stomach is rumbling. He needs some water. All right, everybody gets everything. Everybody gets... Everybody gets stuff. Well, should we look through our supplies carefully? But Mary Jane spotted something amiss. A seed, a plant seed. We should plant to see what happens. We need a bottle of water for that. Sh sure. I think if you actually want to beat the game, you don't ever do anything. You just sit in your bunker. But, you know. Day 26. How we doing, guys? How we doing? Mary Jane's diet keeps a little food. Ted's fatigued. You're not getting any food. Army broadcast interrupted our, let's call it breakfast. Anyway, they seemed very eager to evacuate us from here, but they went over several things that need to happen. The first item is the list. We need to give the geograph geographic coordinates. Uh, we can't. We don't have a map. Sorry, guys. I'm sure we can find the location of a map. We were wrong. Hopefully, they get, we'll get lucky next time. Impressed by what Mary Jane's doing. Everything looks okay. Everything's okay. All right. What's that? A rat? Dang it. We can't do anything about the rat. We're going to lose something. Buh. Someone's going to get hurt, probably. No, nope, but I think he ate some of our stuff. He ate our food. Uh, the Beast of Erode at one. It won and stole our food. Can or no can. At least we have each other, right? We're just worried it'll come back to finish when it started. Uh, da -da -da. Very thirsty. Won't last long. Get some water. I think I can make another day. Could I? I think I could. I wasn't really paying attention. I keep forgetting what days I'm on. Oh, the sickness. The sickness. All right, maybe we won't be too bad. Yeah, fainting, they get some water. Yeah, here's some water, everyone. Oh, good old tasty water. Sunshine again. We're not getting any more sunshine. Day 30. He's back. He looks rough, but he's not sick, at least. We can take care of ourselves. Uh, afraid of Timmy, he came back and brought the strange people back. Wait, we brought some strange looking people back to our doorstep. They claimed to be wizards. They were willing to trade useful supplies in exchange for a few weird trinkets. After hitting them out, we decided to look uh, around our shelter for the items they wanted. They were really ecstatic about purchasing a pair of old socks, which had been lying in the corner for some time now. <laughs> Living their own life. The wizards got them in exchange for a few balls of water. One of them started placing the socks near her ears and started to dance. All right. Things okay with Dolores, but you need some food, sir, and we're almost out of food. Day 30! Someone needs to knock on the goddamn door. I guess I'll get someone ready to go out. There's a bang on our shelter door. They're quite persistent. They've been doing it. Should we open it? Uh, it's day 30. Maybe. Uh, all right, let's see. Let's open the door and see what happens. Day 31. And we got more water. We opened the hatch, there was nobody there. Damn, pranksters are making jokes about the apocalypse. Dang it. That way, I actually didn't get any more water. I thought we did. After after day 30 is when you guys start opening the door, hopefully for the uh, the military. Give you some food, very hungry, something to eat, something's rumbling. I think we'll wait until day 32 because we're almost out. All right, wife, good luck. <laughs> Goodbye, waifu. Day 32. Look at that beard, though. Sexy. Hmm. Mary Jane's doc use a little food. Spare some water. Very hungry. Uh, surface, let's make sure you're safe and sound. Rumbling. Drops of water. Can we make another day? I hope so. Siblings kept their word. Visit us again. They're slowly running out of space in their tent. The group was attempting to small. They, 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 some chop some wood, but we don't have an axe. Sorry, guys. I would love to help you, but I can't. Day 33. It's unfortunate we don't have any tools to help chop the wood. Uh, we had to refuse. Quite hungry. They need some water. Ted's stomach's rumbling. All right, we gotta get everybody some water and a little food. Tentacles! Tentacles everywhere! It's the monsters of Mars. Wait, they're not tentacles. Damn plant Mary Jane's growing. It's mutated. It's got teeth. Fah! I knew I shouldn't have planted that thing. We're all gonna die now because freaking plant. Day 34. Oh, I'm hurt. Ted's hurt. 
Timmy's okay, though. It didn't eat us. Ted got bitten or maybe knocked his head into the wall. One way or the other, there's plenty of bandages to sort this out. We'll need plenty of bandages. Use a little food. Ted was hurt. Dang it. What we know about what's going outside, let's listen to the radio. It's day 34. Maybe something will happen. Day 35. Oh, you came back and you look terrible. You look really bad. <laughs> Whew. Ah, oh, damn it. Some, ah, oh, we blew the radio up. We're not alone outside the shelter. At first, it seemed the creature stalking us. Uh, it's still a tasty dinner. We, it turned out to be a friendly monkey. It joined our expedition while we explored some of our streets. The monkey companion ran away only to come back moments later carrying some food. It couldn't open itself, but it was happy to share with us. At one point during our expedition, the monkey started making weird noises, weird sounds, and dragging its front and digging in front of us the stick. Quick investigation revealed a few bottles of water. No one ever tried to open them. The same can be said about those bottles of booze lying next to them. Mary Jane's quite hungry. Uh, no good. No news is good news. Really tired. Suffers from his injuries. All right, you need some food. Whoo! All right, I guess we'll get ready to go out again. We're locked up in these grow tired situations. Laura's been looking after down. Blah, blah, blah. She refused to eat. How crazy is that? Hard to say. Help her. Let's try to use the Boy Scout handbook, I guess. Day 36. She's gone. God dang it. She left. Well, Mary Jane's sickness got worse, and when we weren't able to provide her with medicine, she decided it's time to cure whatever she had on her own. She left a note saying she's not coming back since she never liked our town to begin with. Giving Dolores a book seemed like a good idea, but she's too tired and sad to read anything. We hope she gets better soon. <laughs> she's gone. Well, you know, everybody get some water, you know, because she's gone, and, you know, I just, I love everybody. And you're going out there with nothing. Go get him, Timmy. Day 37. Timmy's gone. Shit. Timmy went out to the wasteland. We don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. <laughs> Uh, well, it's just me and you. Let's eat to our heart's content. You maniacs, you blew it up. Ah, damn you. Damn you to hell. Something should have been told about our name. We blew up their barbecue last spring. Those are good times, even if they wasted perfect good barbecue. Day 38. Memories or not, we need to keep our heads clear. There it is again. Noises, weird noises all the time. They're coming from the pipes, walls. We don't know what's driving us insane. Let's play some checkers. 39. We're freaking gonna I'm gonna die from injuries. She's gonna die from sickness. <sighs> we'll get some water. She drink something. Having some fun makes forget. What was it again? Difficult to keep our spirits up. Man. Day 40. We're still kicking. Barely. Hard not to worry. The situation. Struggling. Not survive without water. Guys need some water. Have some water. Wish I could give you some medical attention, but I can't. After Lord's return from last night's the last expedition. Minor foot injury, but we can't do anything about it. We can't do anything about it. Day 41. We didn't do anything about the infected wound. Life's hard. Suffering from injuries. There are dire circumstances. For a fact, our neighbor's shelter, broken trap door, there might be some supplies. Go get the supplies. For the love of Jesus, find some medical supplies. Day 42. Oh, Timmy's back. Timmy. I didn't even send you out. He just kind of left on his... I was going to send him out. Did I send him out? Maybe I did. I thought he just left on his own. We opened the trap door wish filling room with tons of soup, but definitely not our, not our neighbors wrong. They were greeted with loaded shotguns during looks in the face. It was just friendly visit. But one kid fired a warning shot in the air. We evacuated quickly. We were afraid for Timmy, but he came back. Uh, primary school. He got some water. Hmm. From the biology class aquarium. Ted's hungry, I guess. So was, or not Ted. Timmy. All right, get ready to go back out, guys. Uh, breathe calmly. One, two, three. It's better. Don't panic. We need to open the door. This is we're all going to die. Open the door. Fine, open the door. Whatever. Why not? Why not? We're on day like 42. We're all dead anyway. Day 43. Jesus Christ. <laughs> open the door, Lady Contaminate. Air was a great idea. Now instead of phobia, we need to deal with vomiting. Ted's very hungry. Love something to eat. Jeez. All right. Just... Jesus. What did what did what did he need? What did old Timmy need? What did he need again? He's hungry. Do you take the lock with you if you want to lock the kids in, or do you I don't actually know how that works. Alright. Good luck. Ugh, day 44. I'm expecting to say end anytime. Very hungry. Quite ill. Uh, attacks, noses, smell. There isn't much we can miss. A brick fell from the wall, revealing an opening. 
Terrible stench. Probably check, see what it is. Okay, sure. Check and see what it is. Day 45. I should have took the briefcase so he could bring more stuff back, right? We looked at the hole and found some food. But Timmy needs some water. I think she does too. I don't know, maybe it'll keep her alive. The other day we heard a quiet knock on our door, but we opened it and found a suitcase at the doorstep. Sure, check what's inside. What could be the worst that happens now? Day 46. What was in the briefcase? Water! All right. Oh, boy. The man at our doorstep, he wants to be our friend. At least that's what he says. Harmless enough to see him. Uh, extra pair of arms resulting in weird mutation. He sure did not get sick. Uh, we can give him some water. We got plenty of water. Give, him, give the man some water. Please give us a med kit. Day 47. No, she's looking better. She's sitting up straight. Uh, pity for your bandits. To sure we agreed to our terms. Knowing something's looking out for us. So many arms. Timmy should eat something. Ugh. Okay, let's see what we got. A traveling salesman came by, and he's offering in exchange for that. We have the, we can get some more water, but we don't really need it, so F you guy. We don't need anything. Get out of here. We need soup. Day 48. Timmy's curious. Look at him looking up there. All right, salesman's very friendly, but he didn't have anything that's interest to us. Very hungry. <sighs> some water. She should get it. Here, have some water. I don't know, he's hungry or something. Give him some water anyway. Really missed life we had. Day 49. She's dead. She's dead. No. He's, everyone's crazy. <laughs> everyone's crazy. No. <laughs> it's going to be the end. We're not going to make it, boys. Uh, Dolores sitting has progressed. Quickly coughing fever, chest pain. She didn't recover. Living in the past is not our current station. We need to think of tomorrow. Ted returned from his voyage. The gas station was destroyed, but that's okay because uh, the cashier's booth. Abandoned truck line of gas pump. We may recognize the logo company. Yep, can soup company. Water bottle scattered around. We got a water bottle. We stumbled upon some bug spray. Timmy should eat. He's driven crazy. <laughs> All right. Here you go, guys. Have some food, I guess. Uh, the trash can getting disgusting. Good. Don't have much of appetite. Giant cockroaches. We got some bug spray, though. It's okay. Oh, boy. Day 50. Good lord. We've been here for 50 days. We dodged the bullet. Timmy hasn't recovered from middle competence. Ted is hungry. Uh, here you go, I guess. Here, have some water too, guys, just because I have plenty, you know, whatever. Go out there, Timmy. Get out there. Take the briefcase with you. Bring back lots of good stuff, please. Don't die, Ted. Day 51. <sighs> Timmy went out the wasteland. Ted is hungry. Too bad, Ted. Sirens? Uh, spiders operate under the assumption they have all the rights. Yeah, hey, well, use the, use the, oh, we're not gonna, uh, uh, day 52. God dang, this is going so long. Pre oh, we got a bottle of water. Uh, fear kept the spiders in line. Fear is a scout handbook. Chasing them around, we found a misplaced bottle of water. My stomach's rumbling. All right, eat. I'm just trying to keep them alive. Spiders are scarce. Morale's low. Survivors, old folks, go, go rob the old folks. Please go rob the old folks. Day 53. We're now richer. We got some food. Y'all got a lot of food. Dang! We robbed the crap of those old people. Heck yeah! Man, we got so much stuff. Now if I could just get some... Oh, no! Dang it, Ted! Oh! Ted, why? Oh, man. You got a can of soup, I guess. And some water. We survived for 54 days. Holy crap. Oh my god. So long. 54 god dang days. Man. We made it so long. I thought for sure we was going to get out. I thought for sure. Dang it. Ugh. Thank you guys very much for watching the 60 seconds. We thought I thought we was going to make it, but we didn't make it. We suck. Hope to see you guys in the next episode. Until then, stay toasty, my friends.